Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening, y'all, in celebrity news, y'all. A lot of people are talking about Sean Diddy Combs, but then now they're talking about his exes, y'all. That You know, these people were reacting to his arrest. Now they're saying that Sean Combs' ex-girlfriend, Miss Jennifer Lopez, y'all, she checked her cell phone, y'all, for updates on Combs after his arrest on September the 16th. Now they're saying Combs lost his appeal for bond on Wednesday, which we all know, and his lawyer, Mark Ungarfalo, Honey said that he will ask for the second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to overturn Judge Carter's ruling and release Combs to home detention. Now, Combs is definitely currently being held on a special unit at Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center, part of the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Now, they're saying Ms. Lopez, 55, and Combs, 54. You know, they dated back from 1999 to 2001. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Lopez and Combs broke up after they fled a shooting at a Times Square nightclub. Now, charges against Lopez were dropped while Combs was acquitted of all those charges after a trial back in March of 2001. Now, they're also saying, allegedly, Combs' ex-girlfriend, Laurie Harvey, tried to hide behind some dark shades two days after Combs was arrested. Now, they're saying that the paparazzi spotted Laurie and her famous bestie, Miss Haley Bieber, at a sushi dinner date in Los Angeles, California. And they say another one of Combs' um, alleged side pieces, E.J. Johnson, was seen rocking some Daisy Duke shorts while um, filling up his Lamborghini Urus, honey, in Los Angeles. Now, they're saying Combs reportedly had a preference for portly men. That's what the story is saying. So oh. it's amazing, though, how all these people, everybody, you know, come, they making these people come out at the end, you know, after when you go to jail, that's how all your business come out, allegedly. And so when they're talking about him and stuff and saying all the people that he allegedly had dated or what have you. So it's, it's very interesting. But people are still waiting, honey, to find out what's really going to go on with this That situation. sounds kind of weird, though. I mean, you I go, J-Lo, I've seen the internet, Lori bro. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. J-Lo, it, Lori, Harvey, EJ. Yep, it's just really, they're going crazy, honey. And, you know, like Brad was talking about earlier about the suicide watching, I could only imagine how he feels. You know, he's not eating all the delicious foods that he ate because you got to eat what they have in jail and stuff. And these people, but they, but when I you mean. Go, but don't when you go in jail and you got money like that, you like a big dog behind that's the wall? That's what I asked him. No. That's what I thought. Uh, no, no. The, guards, the guards try to definitely show you that you are not a big dog and that you are just j- another inmate. But it, yeah, because he in the, he in like the county right now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he won't get he'll be at the county. Uh, uh, he won't feel more free when uh, uh, it, like if he gets shipped off the prison. Yeah, yeah, but he but he got to sit in there until he trial. Sit in there until that trial, trial might be over. a year away. Yeah. A year. Yeah, yep. they, they take their time. They they really? let you sit. They don't care. I thought they expedited or exported. They expediting it. nothing. Oh. <laughs> I thought I saw an October date for another hearing. Somewhere yeah. It might be yeah, here. That ain't That's the trial. Not the trial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that might be for. Uh, uh, they might be appealing mm-hmm. the bond. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, well, we're going to follow this story and, you know, see how this all turn out. But speaking of cases and trials and all this other stuff, honey, Oprah, y'all, they're saying Oprah looked a decade younger during the un- unannounced appearance, y'all, at Jimmy Kimmel Live in Hollywood the other day. Now, according to a report, they're saying, y'all, that the media mogul paid a fortune. You hear what I'm saying, y'all? A fortune, honey, to block a documentary about her life from being released on Apple TV+. Plus. Now, they say Oprah, who's worth only $3 billion, shelled out and untold millions of dollars to keep the documentary from being released. Now, the documentary was first announced back in January of 2021, according to the Daily Mail. Now, Oprah received a large check from Apple TV Plus, y'all, for the rights to her documentary. Now, so it's claimed that the 70-year-old TV guru and director Kevin McDonald's clashed over the documentary film. Now, Kevin made the film, but Oprah didn't like it, and he refused, honey, to change it. So it said, now, the source also added that Oprah bought back the rights from Apple TV Plus. Now, industry sources claim, y'all, that Oprah paid millions, y'all, to get the rights back. Isn't that something you got to pay to get your own stuff back? That's crazy. And Oprah, I mean... What was in that documentary that she didn't like that he didn't want to change? I wonder. Mm. You know, that's that's something to I mean, think she about. She didn't make it. They weren't her own. You know, it probably weren't her own. Uh, uh, what did you call accounts? Uh, accounts or whatever of things mm-hmm. that happened in her life. Yeah. And when they they said, do, what do you call it when it's un unauthorized? Uh, yeah, when it's unauthorized, they don't care what you have to say. They they oh? just get stuff from different news outlets and different places and just put it together, and they can do that. You want to be in control of telling your own story. You right. You know, how would you feel if somebody did a Gary with a T documentary and gave their own account of what your life was like and what and their experiences were with you? With oh, untruths. Well, you just tell them. You just say that's a lie. Can't well, that don't that? really matter once once it comes out once and the world it. sees it. 
everybody's going to think that's what really happened. So really? to prevent all that, the you camera, should get ahead of it. Camera going in your house and see all that baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to see it. I can't stand you. I was like, well, hey, I he got, got the ashes lube. Skin. He don't got the oil. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> let me clear, honey. <laughs> The color today, y'all, one of my favorite colors. My color today, y'all, is blush. On the hand, you say blush, and on the mud, you say beautiful rosy. That's the color for the day, honey. That is a beautiful color. <laughs> yes, honey. Well, hey. All of them. Y'all I'm give it up for Gary with the T. <laughs>